If I'm a PI and I'd like to use RSpace to manage my research, the first thing I'll need is a login of my own. I can create my own login by going to the URL of the server I'd like to use and then clicking on the sign up button. If I already have a login, I can go ahead and enter that. Once I've logged in, I'll be brought to the workspace. Initially, the workspace will look something like this, with just a shared folder and an example folder that are present by default. Since I'm a PI, I'd like to now set up my own lab group. If I'm using an institutional server, chances are that my system admin has already created a lab group for me. But if I'm using a cloud server, I'll probably need to build my own lab group from scratch. Let's go ahead and click on My RSpace, and that will take me initially to the My Profile area. On my profile page, I can go ahead and set up some information about my account. I can change my email address, I can upload a picture of myself, and I can say something about my research if I like. Let's go ahead now and click Create Group to build a new lab group with me as the PI. I can give the lab group a name. Let's call it Boss Lab. And you'll notice that initially the option to make myself the PI is checked. Let's leave that set how it is. I can now bring in other members of my lab group by either typing in their usernames if they already have a username and I know they're already using RSpace, or if they're not using RSpace, I can just put in their email address here and this will invite them to sign up. Let's go ahead and assume that we have a user who's not yet using RSpace but we'd like them to join the system. Once I've added their email address, I just go ahead and click Create Group and a new group will be created and I'll be alerted that that's been successful. To verify that the new group has indeed been created I can go to the workspace and click on the shared folder and then I can go to lab groups and I should see the name of the lab group that I just created. Right now this folder will be empty because no one has shared anything with my entire lab but as users begin to join the lab group and start sharing things this folder will fill up. Additionally, over time, I'll start to see the names of people who are in my lab group showing up in this shared folder area. I'm going to drag in now a window from another browser, which actually allows me to show what a different PI can see. And this PI already has an established lab group, and when I click on the lab folder for that PI, I can see that I have a mixture of lab groups in here that I'm leading, and I can also see the names of particular users. If I put in the name of a particular user into the search engine and click go, I'll be able to find the user folder for that particular user and as a PI I can see everything that that user is doing, initially with read-only access. At any time I can go back to my RSpace and I can click on my lab groups to verify which labs I'm currently running. Once I've been set up as a PI, by default I'll always come back to the My Lab Groups area anytime I click on My RSpace. And here I can see that I'm the PI of this particular lab, and that I have one pending invitation that's been sent out to a lab member. If I want to, I can now send out additional invitations, either to existing RSpace users if I know their email address, or I can invite new users using their current email address to join the system. Notice also that as a PI I have another very important option here. I can, if I want to, click Export Lab Groups Work, and that will allow me to export my entire lab group's work all at once. I can choose whether or not I'd like to export the work as HTML files, which will be viewable with a browser, or I could export the work as XML, which is a good format for archiving large amounts of work, or I could, if I wanted to, export all of the work as a single PDF. Let's go ahead and just leave the default HTML option checked for now and say export. The system will now gather together all of the work that's been created by everybody in my lab and allow me to download it. Once that work's ready for download, I'll be alerted that it's ready in the messaging area. Here's the most recent message that I was just sent and you can see there's a link on here. If I copy this link to my browser or click on it, it will download all the work that I've created and that everybody else in my entire lab group has created as a single bundle of HTML files, including all of the original attachments in their original format. 